Hi guys, welcome to this session in Microsoft Access. In this module, I want to go through the different types of joins that you can have in an Access database. So first of all, I've got some simple tables down this left-hand side, and I'm going to create a relationship at the top there between some of these tables. First one I'm going to do is uh, address details and training records. So let's just have a quick look at that one. Just a list of people. If I come on this one, this is training records that some of those people have done, but not all of them. Now, if I close that down for a second and just go up to database tools and relationships and just pull those two tables on, you've got that option over there to add your tables. But I'll still do it the old way. Make these a little bit bigger so you can see the, the fields. Now, you can see that this has already got a relationship. It's got a one to many relationship, which I'll just break off. That's all the fields there. So if I just double click on that and show you that is the relationship that's there at the moment. So if I cancel that and just delete it and do that again. To create that relationship, what you have to have, there's a primary key in that table, address details, you the staff ID key, which just cannot be duplicated. And there's also a staff ID field in this training table, which can be duplicated. So I'm going to pull that from there to there. So it's coming up with a one to many, one member of staff can do many training courses. And it's telling me there that that's the table that it's coming from to this table. And these are the two fields. I'm going to take enforced referential integrity because that means I cannot create a staff ID in this training table that does not already exist in that table. I'm not going to bother about these two, but you can also click those as well. Now, join types, you can set from this list here, join one as an inner join. Um, two and three, the outer joins, left outer join, and so on. But I'm not going to do it there. I want to just do it in a query so you can see how, how that works. So if I click on create, that'll create that link. And then I'm going to save that and close this window. Then I'm going to create a query, create query design, where I'm going to add those two tables, that one and that one. And then you can see the links already there. Now you can actually do the join, the link should I say here, but you can do the joins here as well. So let's make those a little bit bigger. Like so. And then add a couple of fields. So if I add title, first name and surname, and then course attended and date attended there from two different tables. If I run this query, that just shows me all the people that did a course. Now, if I come back to this, this is what's called an inner join, where it's just showing you both matching records from both tables. If I just double click on that line there, that's the default. So you have like a left table at the top, which is this, and a right table on the top there, which is this table. Join type one, which includes all records that are related, as you can see there. So if I just tick the two, this is a left outer joint. If I click on that, OK, you can see it's coming from the left table out to this table. And you see the arrow there. So basically, it's going to show you all of these records, but only the records that are related in this table. So if I just double click on that again, so you can read it. All the records from the left table, address details, but only the ones from the right table, training records. So click OK to that, run the query, you should see that. So it's showing you all of the people, but not all of the courses. Let's do a sort there, you can see that's how that would sit if I sorted that. So that was the left out of join. If I go back into it and change that round, click on number three. This is a right out to join, so it's a right table, and the arrow is going to point that way. If I click OK to that, you see that the right table points that way. If I run that one, so this is show me all the courses and anybody that's not allocated to them. So it looks like it's the same as a, a an inner join, uh, but it's not. If I had a course that was had been created that nobody had done, that would show that course as being blank. Now if I Put this back to the inner join which is the default 
you can see how that works now if you do it slightly different if i delete this link and go from this table to that um, one and then double click on it you see now the left table is has become this table so it's it's dependent which way you drag which one becomes a left table and then this will just all change around slightly but the process is the same you've got outward um, inner joins which is the default left outer join right outer join which are these two depending which way you pulled if you've created the join relationship in the database tools area up here that is um the way i dragged that was from there to there that is the default so that made that the left table now if i just come out of this there is another join you can do let me just delete this one off staff id now i've got this table here with um managers in it um, but i've actually copied the table into staff relationships just to show you that there are uh, there is another join that you can do where you can have a it's called a self join if i just delete this off a minute and open up this table what i've got in this table is a staff id there but then a list of managers and managers id so i can create a self join which will tell me which of these people i've got managers or what managers they've got so this is what i'm going to do i'll close that down what you have to do is bring that table in ideally you would have a separate table for managers that's not how really how access works but let's say you have it like this so you need to do it like this now i need to bring that second one across now obviously these are both called the same but when you've brought a duplicate across it's it's just put a one at on it but if you've got the property sheet active you can just rename that second one so i am going to rename that managers so you can see that managers so that one then should be called managers so what i need to do is go from staff id to manager id like that and then if i double click on the line what i need to see in this example is the managers so this is a right outer joint that one click ok to that the arrow goes that way now i've added the I've added the fields already so these are the fields i want to see so i've got the manager first and then the, the people that are under that manager if i run this query you can see that information there if i just make this table a little bit bigger so you can see it better like so so i've got a list of managers and who is under each of these managers so we've got smith black brown and white and then the people that they manage and then you'd save this query if you wanted to keep it but i'm not going to save this that's all i want to talk it's is how you set the join types how you can do inner joints outer joints right outer joint left outer joint whichever way you've got your table set and how you can do a self join hopefully this little video has been of use thank you for your time i'll catch you on the next one